it has traveled the four corners of the earth and it keeps it fresh because more and more young people are getting into the dance music scene. So as a DJ, there's always amazing music coming up, and great producers, and that, that keeps me inspired, definitely. There's just so much great music to find. And of course now we have the internet, which we didn't have 20 years ago. So you can, I mean, for me, I used to love going to the record shop and buying records, but now, at the click of a button, I can find kind of any genre of music that I want to hear. No, I've been a few times to Bulgaria. For me, maybe we come one. It has such a humanity about it. It works on lots of different levels, but it really is pointing to the connectedness of absolutely everything. You know, we're part of the world, we're part of nature, we're part of the environment. If we don't all work together and in hand with this planet, we're gonna lose it. We must come one, otherwise our future is in peril. <laughs> is there anything? Um, yeah, lots of things. I'm a very private person, actually. Um, they don't know that my toenails are painted gold today. <laughs> I was very shocked with the news of Avicii's passing. Um, I'm terribly sad. He's a very, very talented young man. The world of entertainment is not a kind place. And you have to be very careful. You have to look after yourself. You have to surround yourself with good people, people that you trust. And uh, it saddens me greatly. The, what I understand of him is he said over and over again that he was exhausted from touring and he just couldn't cope and nobody was listening. I think also he was very, very young. I know I've been doing this a long time, but I didn't have quite the same global success maybe at his age. And I, we've done a lot of touring, but also not all of it was DJ touring. It is quite lonely. You know, when I'm with Faithless, I have the whole band and we support each other and there's nothing more important than relationships in this world, you know? It's a tragedy that he felt so unable to cope and that he had nowhere to go. And the meaning of music is how it connects people. You can be from anywhere in the world and um, especially with dance music because it's not so lyric based in a lot of music and so it doesn't matter what language you speak you can connect with the rhythm the sound the energy and so that's really what music is it's a way of bringing people together um that's a really good question it's so it's impossible to know i think in one way Maybe yes, maybe even more so because when we started there was there was no internet to make the shortcut. You, you know, you would hear the record if you went to a club or listen to it on the radio or you saw us play a live show. But now you have that extra place you can go to to hear music. So perhaps we would have been even more successful if we started now. I don't know. On the other side, I think it would have been really, really difficult because there's so much more music and thousands and thousands and thousands of DJs takes a lot to break a record in this, in this time. For your track to even get noticed, it's much more difficult now. Um, it's my life. <laughs> God is a DJ. For tonight, God is a DJ. Well, yeah, I um, I just released a single with Wiley, who's like the godfather of grime. So 
I'm still putting out music on my own and I'm also uh, writing music for films at the moment. So, um, but Fatalist is how I express myself. It's a really important part of what I do. And uh, we're in the middle of making a new album, so I'm very excited about that.